Let me show you how to set up text to speech for your kick streams. First thing we need to do is go over to Bot Ricks Live. Since this is beginner friendly, I'll make sure to leave everything you need linked in the description down below. The first thing you'll notice is that you actually can't log in with your kick account directly into Bot Ricks. So we're going to have to log in with our Twitch, YouTube, Trovo, or Discord account first, and we'll connect our kick account after we've logged in with one of these four first. But before we do that, make sure you go to the top right corner and change whatever language you're going to use. For some reason, it defaults to Spanish most of the time. So just make sure you're on English if you're a filthy American such as myself. But we're going to log in with one of our four. So I'm going to choose my Twitch account. So I'm going to log in with Twitch. And then you might get bombed with a little Spanish or English Google Translate. You can always leave it on English just in case. But from here, you'll notice that we're on the profile tab on the left hand side. But since we've only linked our Twitch account, our platform is under Twitch. So that means if we change the alerts or anything else over here, it's going to be for our Twitch settings. But we don't want that. We want it for our kick account. So what we'll do is we'll go to the profile tab. We'll scroll down to where it says kick. We're going to sign in with kick. We're going to put in our kick username. And if your username has any underscores in it, try replacing the underscore with a dash if you're having trouble linking your account later. And then click accept. Then it's going to say we have to give the moderator role to Botrix. So we're just going to go and highlight this. We're going to right click and copy. We're going to click continue. It's going to bring us to our channel moderators page on Kick, And if you don't get here, just go to your Kick creator dashboard, go to community and then moderators. And if Kick has had an update, it might look a little different, but that's OK. You'll simply just click add new under channel moderators and then you'll add Botrix. So you'll just paste this in. It'll say Botrix with this little check mark and then you can click it and then you click add and it'll add Botrix as a moderator. Once you've done that, we'll go back to the other page. It'll say that we have to copy this link right here. So we're going to highlight it, right click and copy. Then we're going to go to this link. So we're going to click this link and we're going to go all the way to the bottom where it says send message. We're going to control and V, which is going to paste it. You see all these other people linking their accounts because this is Botrix's chat room and that's fine. So we're just going to chat this little link. So we'll send that message in the bottom right. It's going to say your account has been successfully linked and then we can go back to the other page. If for whatever reason you're having issues linking your Botrix to your account, click this need help button, which will redirect you to the Botrix discord and the mods can help you set it up there. But now we can click finished and we've successfully connected our kick account to our Botrix account. So now in order to actually switch the platform from Twitch to kick, we're going to go to the profile tab and we're going to click the green settings button under the kick tab. So we're going to click green settings and that's going to switch our platform to kick. So now if we want to set up our alerts or chat bot or anything like that, it'll be for our kick account. So in order to set up our text to speech, unfortunately, if you go to alerts at the time of recording this video, they haven't gave the option to do text to speech for your alerts. So you can scroll up and down here and you won't find it. But you can still do text to speech for your chat. So in order to do that, we'll go to the left hand side. We'll click on chatbot. It's going to remind you to mod Botrix if you didn't already do that on the previous step. But we already did that, so that's completely fine. Then we're going to go over to the modules tab and we're going to see one that says voice messages. So make sure that this is enabled, which is conveniently located behind my webcam. And you enable that just by making sure this is green and you're going to click setup. But pay attention because this is where things get a little tricky. So the first thing is make sure that you want it enabled on your kick or Twitch. You can use this for Twitch. Like I said earlier, you're just going to have to mod Botrix in your Twitch account, but then you can change the language, the voice that reads it. You can choose who uses these voice messages. So who can use it? So if you use user, it can be anybody, followers, only followers, subs, so on and so forth. For VIP and OG, those are actually badges you give to people manually in your kick page, and you can find those in your kick creator dashboard. Then you can set a delay in case people decide to spam the text to speech, which isn't cool. Then you can also set a limit of characters that the bot will send so it prevents spam. You can add a text template that is said before the message. So if you want to have it read the user's name and then they say, then you can just copy and paste this little code here and it'll say their name before it actually reads their message. But if you don't care, then you can just leave that blank. You can also ban usernames from actually using this feature in case they annoy you, which is probably very likely. Then you can replace the name on how the bot should read your name. But the most important one is the command. So if you want it to read every single message that's in your chat, you you can leave this blank and hit confirm. But if you only want it to read after someone uses a command, so like exclamation point S, then someone will have to type exclamation point S space and then their message in order for it to be read. But if you want it to read every single message, just leave that blank and it'll read every message that appears in your chat room, which might be a little obnoxious. So I'm going to use exclamation point S. You can change the volume. I'd probably start right around like 45% and see how you like it from there. Then we're going to click confirm and then we're going to click yes, but it's not over yet. Please do not click off. This is more important. Otherwise, this will not work. Now we have to 
install the Botrix Chrome extension. Once again, I'll leave this linked in the description down below so you can easily find it, but make sure that you've installed the Botrix Chrome extension. And once you've done that, you should see it pop up at the top here. It's a little B and you'll see you have the extension. If you don't see this, just X out of Chrome and then bring it back up and it should refresh. But from here, you'll see voice messages. Make sure that this is enabled and then click this little refresh button here just to make sure that it reloads successfully. And then we're gonna go back to Botrix and you'll see that the voice messages is enabled here, which is behind my webcam once again, gosh darn it. There you go, you can see it's enabled. So we have it enabled both in Botrix and then we also have it enabled in Chrome using our Chrome extension here. So the last thing we need to do to check to make sure that it works is go over to our stream in Kick. Make sure that our Botrix is connected. It says Botrix token not found, click to fix. So I'm just gonna click it. It's gonna do a bunch of stuff. It says the extension for alerts has been installed correctly. That's fantastic. So now I'm gonna go back to my Kick page. Now it's gonna say connecting with Botrix. Then it says alerts connected to Botrix so we know it's connected and working correctly. And if it's like still pending or whatever, just refresh the page until it works. Cause sometimes it likes to get stuck. So now let me grab my headphones. So remember that we picked exclamation point S space as our template. So in order to have the messages be read, we have to use that. So I'm just gonna type a regular message. We'll say testing, testing one, two, and you see that it's not being read. But if we type a message with our preset exclamation point S space, send the message. Hi YouTube, if this video helped you, please like the video so it can also help others. And you'll hear that it successfully read out that message. One crucial reminder is that this audio comes out of your Chrome tab, which means that if you're logged out of your stream, it's still gonna play if people trigger it. So just go back into the Chrome extension and then deactivate this when you're done streaming. Also keep in mind, it'll be coming out of your desktop audio. So if we just send another one, watch the audio bar. Testing. It's gonna be coming out of the desktop audio because it's coming out of your Chrome window. So watch these other kick videos to the side of me to help your stream. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.